Hey everyone, my name is Quinn Custledge, and I'm a professional VR developer and Unreal Engine expert. Today I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on where I'm remaking Portal 2 in Unreal Engine 5 with the animation game sample as a base. The reason that I'm working on this project is because I want to learn the game animation sample and the components inside of it. I want to use this system to create full body IK in one of my VR tutorials because it's been something that my subscribers have been asking me for for the last couple months. In this video, I'm just going to be playtesting my project with my friend Colin, who has never played Portal before, and he came over to play my game, and he was the first person to play it since I started working on it. I've been working on this project for about a month, but last Sunday, out of nowhere, the entire file inexplicably corrupted itself. I lost all of my progress that I had for the last month, so what you're about to see is the result of about five days of development that I did after work, because I'm also, you know, working as a full-time VR developer. But I'm really excited to show you this playtest. We talked about a lot of really cool things, and he pointed out a lot of really fun bugs that we can look at, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys kind of what a playtest looks like when I run one, and, uh, you know, just the ideas that come out of that. This playtest is going to be really interesting to watch because my friend Colin is an engineer. He has no experience with game design or development. So everything he's saying is going to be from the lens of a consumer, not a developer. This is very useful when designing game mechanics, especially because I don't want to true to form recreate Portal 2. That would be easy. I want to add some things to it and make it my own. We also chat a little bit about how I would turn this project into VR, and that is kind of a plan if this system works well. That being said, I am still working on the other tutorials I've promised. This is just a little fun project I'm working on because I've been a little burnt out on those. So let's get into that playtest. So I have mapped all of the gameplay and inputs to this controller, which I'm now going to give to you. Aha. And then I'm gonna press play. <clears throat> ah. Sorry, you gotta click into the window. Okay. All right, I'm seeing portals and shit. I see, I understand now. So, I already noticed one bug, apparently uh, I need to make it so portals don't just spawn off of their things. Oh, I know what needs to happen. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> Pardon my French. Good work, I'm proud. Uh oh, come back. Mistakes. Oh, that's why. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to fall into the <laughs> portal. What the heck? What Get are you in there? <laughs> Get in there. What are you doing? You should know. <laughs> oh, you're trying to <laughs> stop moving. Just let yourself drop yeah, gradually. But... Okay, there we go. Okay, well, that was, that was worth a shot. <laughs> oh, so I'm using the game animation sample as a template, so I'm just working in the uh, game animation sample kind of starter map, and so these are just the leftover obstacle course pieces. Ooh, I like the little vaults. Thank you. So there's a bug right now where if you like do it wrong, so look all the way up. Now look all the way back down. Okay, that fixes it. So right now, if you like climb up onto an object that's like higher than the camera, it messes with the aim offset that's on my character. Gotcha. So I have to fix that. <clears throat> All right, is there anything else? Ooh, there's a mirror. Oh, that's pretty fancy. Well, yeah, so I guess any specific feedback that you have when you're like playing around with this? Um, I'm not, Ooh, okay. I don't know, I, I like how it I don't know what you did there. <laughs> I just, just turned around, I think, next to a wall, maybe. It looks like the camera's been offset. Yeah, a little bit. Or science, something like that. What about how it looks? Like, does it does it look good? Like, do these effects look decent? Or... Yeah, I think the portals look really solid. Oops, come back. I mean, they, they do have square shadows, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But, I mean, aside from that, it looks pretty nice. I like the shadow. You can see it's very, like, very detailed, uh, the character shadow. <clears throat> 
I feel like that does something. I don't know what, but... Yeah, the character shadow is nice. The mirror effect is nice. What about, like, the momentum effects? Um, I mean, I haven't really noticed anything weird. Are you talking about anything in particular? Like, when you... So, shoot a portal yeah. at that angled surface there. Yeah, so then you shoot the orange right before you hit the ground. Ball. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's pretty nifty. What about the gun itself? Does it feel like it's, like, imposing on your view? Um... No, not really. I mean, maybe it could be a little bit further to the right, just to kind of get it a little bit out of the middle of the frame. But I think it, it's pretty much, like, it's, it's not a big deal. <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay. Fix portals. Ooh, okay, that's actually very cool. What? You can see yourself through the portal. <laughs> Top of each other. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, right? Technically. Like, I can see... Wow. What do you think of the sound effects on the portals? Like, when you shoot them, when you go through them, when you, um are near one can you hear it like you can hear it like humming and stuff i like the hum it's cool i like the the shooty noise is good Ooh, that's cool i like the beam but i don't know i think just overall like it it feels good there's really not a lot that stands out to me as like something that would take me out of like immersion besides really. just random bugs that can be fixed yeah and even though it's like yeah i feel like for really. for five days of development it's not terrible no, i like it it's, it's cool i like the mechanics <clears throat> i think it looks good like the portal gun looks really good turn to your right and kind of fire what about that animation for like how their hands are moving on the gun when you're like firing because that's using a procedural i think like, it looks good okay I would say when you look, I think that something's a little, just like the angles maybe are a little slightly off, because if I look directly at the mirror. It should be looking directly back at you. Yeah, like right at my face, and it's, sometimes it kind of is. But like, that, it looks like he's kind of looking forward there, but I'm kind of looking a little bit to the left. Yeah, it's, and also, shouldn't, if you're like right up to the mirror like that, shouldn't they be touching as well? Um, I have a, already have a solution plan to fix that. See how like your your guns clipping through the wall? <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna implement a, a system. I'm gonna implement a system that shoots a line trace out from your chest, and so when you like go up to it, your portal gun will go up, and then your hand will like push out against the wall and like collide with it, so you mm -hmm. can see how far you are. So what what did you like? What did you actually have to do to um, create this? Like what what of this is just like sandbox, and what is Quinn? Me. So when it comes to like the movement system, anything having to do with portal code, velocity or physics, having to do with portals, the visuals of the portals themselves, any logic having to do with uh, the current state of character animation in first person. Um, so like how they're holding the gun, how they're interacting with the environment, how they react to different things around them. It was from a template originally. Um, However, when the project file got corrupted, I had to rebuild the entire system from scratch. Mm -hmm. The only thing I really had left was this level that came with it. So that, and then the portal gun I modeled myself, rigged and animated. Um, all of, yeah, like, so any visual effect or like UI element you see, I did. And um, sound, all sound design. So if you were to add, like, let's say you were me mm. and you have basically full creative freedom to do whatever you want with this system once it's done. What would you like to see for it? If I were to try and make like a level or something for my portfolio, like what kind of level would be cool? Or like what kind of little self-contained like mini story could I tell? Hmm. Like if I really wanna like just have some fun and make something cool and interesting, 
that fits into this universe? What would you what would you think is cool? Um, I think it doesn't help that I have not played any of the portals before this. I don't know. It could be interesting if there's like a, like you're trying to you're on a, a spaceship or something and and mechanically things are going wrong and you're trying to avoid like a, a reactor meltdown or something. <clears throat> I think that would be cool, especially if you got to explore how this would work in like some sort of zero grav environment. Yeah, like that I think would be super neat. Yeah, that was like at, at some point maybe you get to a, a a period in the level where like the ship shutdown is like so severe that gravity, like you've lost the artificial gravity in the ship or something. That could be neat. Um, Damn, that would be so cool. I think so it'd just like, be cool to play with portals and zero grav. Yeah, like the first the first half of the level could be whatever normal artificial gravity and then uh oh, it turned off. Like it broke or whatever. I think it'd be even cooler if it was like maybe you go into like a giant if if you d didn't want to do it like on a spaceship, you could go into like a giant centrifuge. Yeah. You have to like get something from there. That would be That could be neat as sick, well. Sick. Actually. And then what other like fun mechanics can you think of that I could design? Like for like a portfolio reason, like the reason I'm making this is because I want to show that I can, you know, make video games, yeah. non-VR games, because I only ever make VR. So I'm trying to showcase that I have the ability to design non-VR as well. So um, I think like what cool mechanics are shooting to you right now of like things you'd like to see? It's pretty basic, I think, but I think like Sprint would be nice. Like it's not necessary, but I think especially if you're having like a, a um, you know, if if the setting is one that you know has a sense of urgency, like trying to fix a ship, it's like I think being able to sprint kind of keeps you. No, it, I don't know. It, it makes sense, right? Like I need to go somewhere fast. Like let me let me sprint. It would be nice if the portal, uh, like lined up to or with how your your gun was facing. So it's like. If I do that, it looks fine. But if I do something like this, it's like horizontally oriented. It would be nice if the orientation of the portal depended on the direction that you're facing. Okay, yeah, I, know, would, I agree I with that you. Would look nice. I don't even notice that. That's yeah. a bug. It's supposed to mm -hmm. line up. So if I'm like looking at the ground, yeah, it's like supposed it's to supposed to line up with the ground. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, the biggest pain in the ass with these portals was getting those cameras. So each, these portals are part of the same class, right? Mm -hmm. So inside of a blueprint, there's like a little sphere that like serves as its world zero, zero. And then we have a blue and an orange portal. Yeah. And then the blue and orange portal, they have like a camera and a scene capture. And basically when you shoot orange and then you shoot blue, I switch those scene actors. So like the portal orange is showing the portal blues scene actor and vice versa that's how we're like faking this yeah. um you know that 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 it is a seamless you know what port it's a portal you know like a seamless portal in space and time or whatever and um when you go through these portals i think it's different from the game because what i'm using is like a advanced teleport system but i'm pretty sure in valve's version of portal that it's seamless like i could walk through slightly and then jump to the other side. I don't know, it's been a minute since I played Portal. I've been trying to program this all from like memory. Mm -hmm. And then just looking up like photos of reference online for the visual effects. Yeah. It could be interesting if you added some more like movement mechanics, like um, wall jump or something. A wall jump? Or like if you added um, like a little booster pack. Well, I've programmed that before. You could very well have a booster pack. Yeah, so you could just do not like a full on like jet pack, jet but like pack, you're but saying like a double out. jump, something like that. That could be interesting. You don't <clears> think that would kind of get in the way of the like the goal of the portals, which is to solve puzzles with the yeah, gun? I, mean, I think it could. It, it kind of depends on how you lay out the puzzle. So maybe that's like a. I can always implement it and then we can play test again. And yeah. if we decide we hate it, you know, what? I think next we tighten. I, I think what I should do is tighten all the interactions you've listed here, finish this system. So it's robust. We'll do another play mm -hmm. test. I'll design a few levels so you can actually get a feel for, cause the way portal works is it's basically a level based game where you use that gun and your entire goal is to solve puzzles. You like yeah. have to go through these test rooms. There's an overarching story that I'm not going to spoil for you, but the entire game is a puzzle game. So, so revolving around these portals. So the goal of the project is to showcase not only that I can create these 
types of complex game mechanics, but also give me an opportunity to have a template that I can use to showcase some level design yeah. and, and uh, game design skills. That way, if I ever apply for a job where they're like, oh, we need someone who can design a level, I can quickly launch this project and throw something together. Once I finish developing all these mechanics, the other plan is to design a new system that instead of having a gun, you have you have two gloves. One is orange, one is blue, mm -hmm. and then you and then you make like a more VR friendly style of portal. And maybe instead of shooting, you like throw like orbs. Like the glove spawns like a portal energy ball, and you can throw it at a surface. And I think that would be really cool to explore. So that was the plan after I'm done with this. I think this would be a lot of fun if you had like a a level and a story you get behind. Yeah, I think like for portfolio and like time, like just making like one level that yeah. can like that just kind of demonstrates. Oh, I can do this. Yeah, you know, and like then I could have some fun doing like some environment art stuff, mm -hmm. different things like that. I don't know, it could be cool. Yeah, I think it'd be neat. All right, cool. Yeah, this is cool. Sweet. Well, thank you for coming. Yes, sir, Bob. You're the first play tester. So basically from that playtest, we learned that there's a lot of bugs that I need to fix. And, you know, I was kind of already aware of most of them, but there were a few that he pointed out that I did not know existed. So it's really great that you have those Kleenex testers in there to point out things that you're not gonna find as the developer. I have a lot of work to do, but this project is still really fun and I'm excited to work on it, which is good. So now it's your turn. If you saw anything during that playtest that you found interesting or have any suggestions for what I could do with this project, please let me know in the comments. I read every single one of them and I really enjoy interacting with you guys as a community. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial which will be full body IK hopefully using this system.